wanted to spend a minute not only shouting welcome to all the new immigrants that have come into the 9th Congressional District, but all my life I've been fighting to make sure that path becomes easier instead of harder. We've gone through tough years in the past, but there's no doubt in my mind that the American people support immigration and support the immigrants, and we all need to be part of the welcoming committee. God bless all the immigrants in the United States and I know you're gonna be successful because you really wanted to be here to show your stuff. So immigrants, welcome and the best to you and succeed, please. Hello, my name is Deirdre Webster Cobb and I am the Chair and Chief Executive Officer of the New Jersey Civil Service Commission. I would like to thank the IACO for giving me the chance to discuss the importance of the integration of immigrants or new Americans into the state workforce and what the Civil Service Commission is doing to welcome them. Immigrant integration into our communities plays an integral role in helping to make Governor Murphy's goal of creating a stronger and fairer state achievable, and even more so, what contributes to developing a stronger and fairer civil service workforce that reflects the diversity of the state. The Civil Service Commission has welcomed many new Americans into the state workforce. The success of our state and local government relies on its ability to acquire and retain a diverse and inclusive staff. New Americans provide different knowledge, skills, and experiences that help us to adapt to and better serve an ever-growing diverse community. Throughout the pandemic, New Americans have made major contributions as frontline and essential workers providing for and helping those in need. Their hard work and dedication as public servants have not gone unnoticed, and I thank them for all that they have done. You can be the change we need. You can help build a stronger and fairer New Jersey. Each of you have the ability to make a difference in the lives of our fellow New Jerseyans, especially that of the new Americans that will succeed you. If you do not know where to begin on applying to the various open positions within state and local government, I welcome you to join us from one of our virtual information sessions that will be hosted next month in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month. During these sessions, my team will help guide you through the application process and answer any questions you have pertaining to the process. I look forward to one day seeing you in the halls of one of the various state departments and agencies or even at the Civil Service Commission. Remember, CSC works for you. Thank you. Hello, I'm Passaic County Clerk Danielle Ireland Imhoff and I'm here to share some important information about the services provided by the County Clerk's Office and how my staff and I are available to assist you. I often say that the County Clerk's Office impacts everyone at some point, either in their personal or professional life. Whether you're obtaining a passport, voting by mail in an election, applying for a business trade name certificate, becoming a notary public, or looking to permanently record your veterans discharge records or property transaction records, the County Clerk's Office is the entity that can assist you. A passport is an official form of photo identification. In Passaic County, the County Clerk's Office is a passport application acceptance facility, and we offer process services for both the passport book and the passport card. Starting October 1st, 2021, anyone traveling by air either internationally or domestically, will need a real ID compliant form of identification to travel. 
passports meet this requirement. Please note, passport cards can only be used to fly domestically or if you're entering the United States at a land border crossing or seaport of entry from Canada, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Bermuda. And parents and guardians, please remember, all travelers, regardless of age, need a passport to travel outside of the United States. The county clerk's office receives petitions from candidates running for county level offices and certain municipal level offices. Our office also serves voters by offering vote by mail ballots. As a convenient alternative to voting in person at your polling place on election day, you can register in advance to vote by mail. My office will mail you your ballot, which you then complete and return to the Board of Elections in order to cast your vote. The county clerk also certifies election results to the New Jersey Secretary of State. A certificate of trade name is required by law to be recorded in the county clerk's office by anyone who wishes to start a sole proprietorship or partnership business in Passaic County. These certificates are often required by banks to open your business's bank account. Prospective business owners can also verify with our office that the desired trade name is not currently in use in the county or as a corporation or LLC in the state of New Jersey. A notary public serves as a neutral witness to the signing of important documents by making sure that the document is properly executed with all necessary information. The document is factual and attesting to the signatures on the document. Serving as a notary is a crucial role in many fields such as business, legal, and the financial industries. Notaries can also administer oaths of office. If you're interested in starting the process to become a notary public, you can pick up an application at our office or visit the State of New Jersey's website to begin the application process. Two to four weeks after you submit your application to the state, you'll receive your notary commission forms in the mail, which you will then bring to our office where you will then take your oath of office to be sworn in as a notary public. Our office is available to permanently record all original or certified copies of military discharge documents, such as a DD-214. After the discharge document is recorded, it's returned to the veteran. All discharge documents filed with our office are considered confidential and can only be accessed by the veteran or next of kin. Recording a military discharge record provides the veteran with the security of knowing their records are permanently recorded and a copy is available in the event the original is lost or damaged. As a courtesy to the courageous men and women who served in the armed forces, the Passaic County Clerk's Office offers complimentary ID cards to honorably discharged veterans. The photo ID card provides access to receive discounts and benefits from stores, restaurants, and attractions throughout Passaic County. Registering veterans will also have early access to exclusive veterans events and information specific to Passaic County. One of the county clerk's office's long-standing duties is the recording of legal documents involved in the buying and selling of property such as mortgages or deeds. There are fees set by state law for recording these documents, and a list of the fees is available on our website. Existing documents are available to be searched in person in our map room or vault by appointment. In an effort to be as convenient and accessible as possible, many documents are available to be searched online through the portal on our website. According to the FBI, property and mortgage fraud is one of the fastest growing white collar crimes in the United States. To address these concerns, we offer a free notification service to receive a text or email if a property document bearing your name is recorded in the Passaic County Clerk's Office. If you receive an alert, you can then quickly take the appropriate next steps with law enforcement agencies. The Passaic County Clerk's Office has two convenient locations in Passaic County, so that no matter which part of the county you live in, you can quickly and easily come to the office when needed. Due to the unprecedented times we're in, 
All customers are required to have an appointment, so be sure to call or email our office before coming. No matter how big or small your question is, please contact us and we are more than happy to assist you. It's an honor for us to serve Passaic County's residents. Everything that has been raised during this uh, three-day forum, it's quite interesting and uh, we've had the opportunity to share this online and we're united spiritually and for the same cause. We want to work and keep working for immigrants. And in June, we did this event because we know this is the month of Hispanic heritage and we've received some recommendations in IACO first by President Joe Biden, where he uh, talked about the contributions and the purpose of his government to help and acknowledge the work of immigrants. And that's why we received this uh, proclamation on this heritage uh, month uh, for immigrants and the proclamation of uh, New Jersey and Governor Phil Murphy, who became a friend of the immigrants cause and made a special proclamation and some mayor's offices where there are Hispanic populations, for instance, uh, mayor's office of Passaic and also Newark and Prospect Park as well, and Patterson also. So this is an acknowledgement by authorities on the efforts made by immigrants and also organizations such as IACO with an important role. And that's something we've highlighted in Telemundo. We always mention that's why we support events such as this one, which is uh, essential. That's why we're reaching the end. And I would like to invite the director of IACO, Gustavo Ramirez, for him to share final words about this event. But first, congratulations for this uh, three days of event. Thank you, Luis Alejandro. First of all, I wanted to thank personally uh, for your cooperation and your support uh, that has always been unconditional and also the support from Telemundo and different organizations that have been with us in this process. We are reaching the end of the beginning. And this is the beginning because what we want is that from now onwards, we have a new beginning for all organizations and for the whole community and different agents that participate in our society move forward in terms of integration of immigrants. And the purpose of this uh, conference is the purpose we've served on a daily basis with our communities, immigrants and different organizations. And what we aim is at making our state, our country and even the world a healthier uh, place in the world, friendlier and mm, more fair. So I would like to thank everyone from the bottom of our hearts of, on behalf of IACO, because the, of all the panel that participated and all different organizations, but especially those persons who have connected virtually to this webinar, to this conference from their mobile devices, from their homes, and that have participated. And I wanted to mention that if we take actions, if we are not passive, if we get informed and we coordinate actions and we keep working jointly, we will be able to have a better society. This is uh, a conference that has been done annually. Next year, we will continue with this conference. And from IACO, we will we're, keep working for the integration of immigrants. And we expect there are people uh, that have participated in our conference. We expect them to take part in our conference next year. So again, I would like to thank you and uh, especially and above all, the whole technical team, support team, the IACO personnel, the board of directors, and everyone behind scenes making this possible. And uh, without your hard work, we wouldn't have been able to uh, succeed in this uh, conference. So thank you, dear colleagues. Thank you, members of the board. And thank you all who have been listening to us and um, participating. Eliana, 
the floor is yours to adjourn this um, event uh, in the best possible manner. Thank you very much. For our organization, IACO, the work that we've carried out has been truly gratifying. The mission was and continues being to support the immigrant community. As we all know, immigrants have come to the U.S. to, well, through throughout the ages to find a better quality of life and for different reasons. And we face so many challenges and barriers. The goal of our organization is to support and help this community in order to achieve better quality of life, as Gustavo mentioned, to achieve inclusion and to unite. The truth is that the mission and the goal of our conference has been achieved. It's truly gratifying to see the number of people who have connected from all around the US, not only from New Jersey, and also to have had so many wonderful panelists, people who were so generous in sharing amply all of their knowledge and experience logically this conference would not be possible without the participation of the community itself so i would like to thank you all give you a special thanks for receiving our invitation for finding time out of your busy lives to become a part of this and to add your grain of sand in order to really integrate. Logically, we chose the month of June in order to honor the Hispanic Heritage Month and the immigrant experience. We want to thank the state of New Jersey with infinite gratitude. They not only acknowledge the culture and everything the immigrants have done in this state, but the governor, the deputy governor have been with us, have uh, been supporting with uh, the presentation of acknowledgement and thanking our organization. So we want to thank the state of New Jersey, the governors, the governor of uh, the, the mayor of Passaic County, who is such an important part of this, the city of Newark and Prospect Park and Patterson. An event such as this one would not be possible without the participation of our sponsors. So I would like to take advantage of this opportunity to thank the Hispanic Center of Research and Development known as the CHBRD, Verizon, St. Joseph's Hospital, the city of Passaic, Telemundo, of course. Mr. Alejandro, thank you so much for being with us, for being our moderator, and also for the attorneys, the attorney bar of New Jersey for lending your services and your legal consult in a confidential way and in a pro bono manner. And I would also like to thank, as I mentioned previously, all of our panelists, the consulates that have sent information so that their citizens understand the services that are available and provide more knowledge on what they can access and connect them to their countries of origin and all the other organizations that are wonderful bridges to carry out and perform all of these services, especially all of the pro bono organizations, NGOs that are with us that have disseminated the information so that our conference can reach so many more. Once again, we're so pleased uh, with the results of this conference. And as Gustavo mentioned previously, 
we are going to perform it once again next year. This is a task that logically begins with the acknowledgement of the federal government that also is passing a new resolution and the immigrant organizations, the state, but there is also a lot of work left to be done. And only through consistency, commitment, will we be able to achieve this true integration. Thank you, Gustavo. Uh, thank you very much. And everyone who took part, all the technical team, administrative, all the speakers, I think we reached our goal even beyond our expectations. Uh, mission and action, it's something IACO is performing, it's doing. We are in an interesting scenario of what's happening with uh, immigrants after difficult times. We are in uh, hopeful um, expectation, and I think this is the ideal scenario for this to happen. There are many expectations, as I said, and I think next conference next year perhaps will be held before in case there is a reform uh, you should know IACO it's always hand in hand with the community we have the support of different entities and the most important thing it's to inform report and everyone being re uh, ready because better times will come and we expect we are blessed thank you and God bless you we appreciate your your participation. Please do not forget to, to uh, fill in the surveys. Remember that your uh, response is absolutely private, confidential, and we will not compile any personal information. Your suggestions and comments will help us improve uh, for future editions of our event. Thank you very much.